Welcome back to my channel. Today is part one of my three-part Makeup for Dummies series. I thought this was going to be a really cool little project segment because I feel like a lot of people want to wear makeup, but they just haven't. And it, all of a sudden, you're 20 years old and you don't know where to start. I was re-watching my videos and I was thinking, would I understand all this if I didn't know as much as I did about makeup? I know when I started doing makeup, I just kind of winged it. I just kind of did whatever I wanted. Like I just, I went to the CVS and I bought all these products and I just put them on my face and I've just been doing that for like three years now. I never liked watching tutorials and doing what other people like. I always like figuring it out for myself but I know a lot of people aren't like that. And obviously you don't have to use every single thing that I'm using in the exact same way I'm using. You can add this, you can take away that, you can substitute this. Because makeup is an art, and art is whatever you want it to be. Art isn't meant to look pretty, it is meant to make you feel something. But that's just how I feel about it. I just hope that this tutorial is helpful for at least one of you, anyone. I just hope that it makes a difference and it helps you become more comfortable with wearing makeup and knowing how to do it. With all that said, I guess let's get started. I'm going to start with a matte face because that's more popular and I do that more often than a dewy look anyways. So those of you that don't care can just click off after <laughs> I'm done with the matte face. So works out for everyone. First I'm going to start by using face wipes. Because the trick to a flawless foundation is smooth skin. So I'm just going to wipe off all the dead skin with this. I think I'm on the edge of now is actually a good time for me to be doing this video. Because I just started using this new prescription acne medication. And I still have some spots on my face. Now that I wipe my whole face, I'm just going to use my up and up dual effects moisturizer I'm just gonna put it all over my face kinda like a primer but I'm also gonna use a primer just because I want it extra matte I wanna show you guys how to do that now I'm just using the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick I like using this when like I really want a matte face because it does a really good job of mattifying like my nose because I feel like the pores on my nose are always so visible and they're just huge. So the best way to get a good matte finish is to use a foundation that is medium to full coverage. So I'm just using my Liquid Dream Mousse Maybelline foundation. It's just a normal drugstore foundation. Um, it has pretty good coverage. It's actually full coverage, I believe. I use it whenever I really need to like cover up acne and stuff. So I just have it here. I don't like using my hands for foundation ever, only because it'll make your face get oily faster, and it just it's not what you want. So use a sponge or use a brush. for a matte face I would just put on any foundation powder I'm using the Maybelline dream wonder powder it goes with the dream liquid mousse foundation that I just used I like to just take a little bit swipe it all over just to set in the foundation I'm an oily combination person so I like to put on powder because I don't like just using powdered foundation I like to always use some sort of liquid on my face so powder just kind of soaks up the excess oil and it helps me be less shiny. If you have like blemishes and stuff, yeah, you can go ahead, put concealer on those. A really good trick for making your foundation look more flawless is when you put it on, only put it on till here under your eyes. Because then you're putting on concealer right here and you don't want to double layer them because that makes it more cakey and the foundation and the concealer gets into the fine lines under your eyes and it just creates more wrinkles and stuff that way so just be mindful of that so for the sake of this video I'm gonna be taking off my matte face and we're gonna show you how to do the dewy look to start off I'm not gonna put on the same moisturizer I'm actually gonna be using this glam glow glow starter moisturizer pack I got it as a sample at Sephora 
and I'm just going to use it. It's like a really like illuminating moisturizer. It's, the shade is Nude Glow. I went to Sephora and I had to go get the sample because I don't usually do like a dewy face because like I said, I'm oily so I always have a dewy face even when I'm doing matte. But I want to go get this and let me try it out. It's just going to give me like an illuminating glow to go under my foundation to give me that extra like dewy look. Cross your mind and make you forget about the past. Say I, say I don't, say I don't do for you no more. This smells so good. Wow, like, that's, that smells so good. Wait, I might have to go buy this now. So for foundation, I'm actually going to use a BB cream, and I'm using the Maybelline one with 2% salicylic acne treatment, because BB creams have a, like, a lot of oil in them, and I usually don't like using them, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will, because I don't have anything that's like a sheer foundation or like a light coverage, because I always use full, so I have some on there. As you can see, I'm using my NYX Liquid Illuminating Highlighter. I'm just going to pour a little bit on there with it. I'm just taking the back of this brush and I'm just going to mix it around. Mixing the highlighter with the foundation is going to make it a little bit glowier and it's going to make it look really nice. Now I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender again and I'm going to dip that in there. I'm going to put it all over my face again. And remember what I said, you don't put it above the cheekbones. Now to finish it all off, I'm just going to put the concealer on my under eyes. The trick with concealer is to do like a check mark. And it's kind of like just a little triangle under your eyes. So just pull all the way down and then swoop. I think I'm on the edge of losing us. I think I'm and there we go. I actually really like this look. I've never like fully done a dewy like luminous look because like I said, I'm oily. I'm always trying to cheat. I always think I look dewy anyways, but this actually looks really nice and I'm really like, I feel like I'm glowing. Maybe I'm pregnant. I'm just kidding. I'm not pregnant. Nobody go and tell my mom that please. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is how you do a matte versus a dewy foundation, and I really hope that this tutorial was very helpful, because like I said, this is kind of like a makeup for dummies type of thing, where I'm trying to teach you and help you understand better how to do your makeup. If you enjoyed this video today, please give me a thumbs up, please leave me a comment. The next video is going to be how to contour and bake, so stay tuned.